Good morning. It is 5am on Sunday morning and I'm off to go and run an ultra marathon. <laughs> That's why I'm up this early on a Sunday. Um, oh god, why did I sign up to these things? Anyway, yeah, I'm all ready to go. I'm just going to make a coffee, get some cereal and then head on over. It's in Yorkshire, is it Sowerby Bridge? Sowerby Bridge? I don't know what to say. So you run from there all the way sort of like... Rochdale way, it's the Rochdale Canal and yeah I'm excited, I think, I'm nervous and um, I think my mum's going to come and meet me at the finish line, I think Gaz is going to meet me halfway, it's like an out and back route so it'd be nice to have some support out there. I've never done anything like this, my longest ever run was obviously in my Ironman, I did the marathon, um, that's the longest I've ever run and then outside of that it's been like 30, 32k so I don't know, we'll see how it goes, it's just something I've wanted to do for a while and sort of take that distance off, so here we are, <laughs> I don't know if I regret this, but I'll get it done, it's just going to be a nice day out, I'm not going for like any times or anything like that, it's literally just to, just to do the distance, which is um, like a huge achievement in itself, I'll make a coffee and yeah, I'll just get some cereal, that's what I always have before my long runs. Today apparently it's supposed to be dry and bright, no real wind, whereas yesterday it was windy, raining, like all the conditions you don't want to run in. So I'm thinking it'll probably be a bit wet underfoot, which is a bit annoying because I it is on a canal. They said it's not like a traily canal, it is quite firm ground. Sorry, I had some in a drink. Um but I think it's bound to be a bit softer underground, obviously with it being raining, but I don't have trail shoes, so I'm just running my normal trainers, so <laughs> Let's hope that it's not too wet. So anyway, I'll live and learn. <laughs> right, I've had my breakfast. I've got my little water pouches. I've got some squash for the car. The most important things. If you know, you know. Hopefully just help with any potential stomach upset. Um, so I'll take two now. I might... <laughs> I might take one more before the race starts just to really make sure that I don't have an upset stomach. It's a must. Right. Let's pray to the toilet gods <laughs> that I'm all good. Right, I've arrived. Look how beautiful it is today. Blue skies. Not a blue sky in I don't know how long here in the UK. So I've chosen a good day, but I'm just going to go register now. <laughs> I'm so excited. No, I'm not excited at all. I'm nervous. Um, quite a few people here. Uh, I think it's going to be a good event. And this beforehand, come back, we'll do a brief and off you go. Thank you. Hello, Morning. Laura Bardsley, please. You heard all that, Laura, then? Yeah, I yeah. heard it. Yeah, that's oh. fine. So we are off. We're about 2k in. Um, it's a beautiful day. Nice down the canal. So far, underfoot, it's pretty perfect. I was looking around and everyone was wearing looking trail shoes. And I'm here in not trail shoes, so that's the canal. Yeah, I will take you when I can. So about eight and a half k in. Feeling pretty good at the moment, although I just like to get a bit peckish. <laughs> Why do I do? Why do I always feel hungry? But anyway, um, I'll have a gel in maybe like when I get to 10k, I'll have my first gel. Uh, and yeah, just keep on plodding on right with 10k in 50 minutes, 10 seconds. So, about a five minute pace, probably a bit too quick to be fair, but I'm feeling alright at the moment. And then I'll see what happens, but only four 10k's to go, <laughs> only eight 5k's, only eight park runs to go. Easy, we can do eight power runs. So I'm gonna have a gel now and then probably see you in the next 10k. It's an absolutely beautiful run here. A lot of people think like out and back route's quite boring, which I guess they can be, but and this is the view. It ain't too bad. Just been through an aid station at about 14k. Yeah, just about to go to 14k now. Right, I just start to get a drink of water. And I'm off again. These short sharp uphills. Are absolutely killer. We get them all out of the way on the way there, and the turn point on the way back. Obviously, they're all short, short, short downhills, but whew, yeah, they just spike your heart rate a little bit, which is a bit uncomfortable. But anyway, so we'll be downhill on the way back. The um, surface 
has got a little like muddy and puddly um, in the past sort of 5k. So I don't have the best training on, so I'm slipping all over the place. The first 15k, it was perfect on the foot. So it's a bit wetter, but almost at 20k. Woo! 20k at 1 hour 40 and 30 seconds. Huh. Getting tough, but positive mental attitude. So we need, just had a bit of salt rain, just chop that in between 19 and 20k. So a park run into the turn point. Almost 23k in. I think I can speak out from the dogs up ahead. I'm just make a smile. Oh, yay. There they are. <laughs> yay. Smashing it. That's the first two girls. No, I know. Well done. Hi, Smashing darling. it. Well done. Keep going. Right then, just done the turn point. We're heading back. <laughs> it was about 25.6k, so I hate that one. They're like, oh, it's going to be halfway. It's not halfway. That's an extra 600 metres, but anyway. We're doing it. I had a banana, some water at the aid station. Such lovely people volunteering to help, so they were nice. But yeah, there's a little climb back up and then all of the bridges now are downhill. Which is nice. Right, 30k done. 20 k to go. See if I can Right, back on the muddy side <laughs> of the canal. But almost 15k left, so. Almost at 35k. I'm feeling alright. If I break it down, it's like 7k to the marathon and then 7 ish k to the end. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just about to go to 40 kilometres. It's killing me a bit now. I feel my legs are a bit crampy, but I've held some mental attitude. It's the furthest I've run since my arm last year. I've just had my fourth gel and uh, I don't know what else to say. Had some sweets, had some sorry, had a banana at halfway. Come on, we're almost into single, single digits. We're almost into when it's it's like 9.9k left. Feels a bit shorter than 10. I'm checking myself. Alright, I've just gone through the marathon park. 335 30, which is a PB. That's only that's the second time I'm in marathon. The other time was when I did my iron run. So that's good, so I've seven and a half k. I feel like if I said my legs are fresh, my legs are cramping up. I'm trying to stay positive, I'm not focused on that. I've got like 7k left, like 40 minutes. 40 minutes, I can do this. Oh, God. God, guys. I've got 5k left. I'm waddling. <laughs> I'm waddling. Feels tough now. But it's fine. 5k to go. <laughs> okay, 40 out. Four. Okay, to go. Oh, come on, Laura. You've run 4k a million times. Oh, it's just my legs. They're like solid. Oh, it's fine, not thinking about that. 47 down, three to go. 3k to go. Oh my god. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? 2k to go. That's like 2,000 meters. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. This is felt really hard, this felt hard. Last 10k, I felt really hard. Oh, 49 done. Last quarter. Oh my god, oh my god. I've got nothing else to give, but I'm always there. Oh, the finish line better be at 50k. I'm not having this 50 and a half. Smashing it, you're in third overall. Thanks. First woman, come on, through the bridge. Almost there. Through the bridge, come on, let's go. So proud, well done. Go on, Lara, follow him in. Nice and steady. Last push now, Lara, well done. Last finish, go on Laura.
Well done. <laughs> Hanky. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Champ. You are. Picture. Third overall. <laughs> Hurting. But I'm a winner, so it's fine. I'm a you champ. Are. You won it. Oh, I can't do this on my head. Oh. Third overall, so including happy. the men. I was surprised those two girls in front oh, seem really strong. Well, you were stronger. I'm in bloody road running shoes. I'll do a um, debrief when I get home. Yeah. Um, Smashed it. Now I'm a champ. An ultra tramp. You are. Ugh. First ultra, first win. Thank you. Well done, you. Back in the car. <laughs> My legs are cramping up so bad. I feel like this drive home isn't going to be great. <coughs> but anyway, um, I've got a monster. That's what I was craving. I've got a protein shake and I've got a tube of Pringles because I need some salt. So I'll do a debrief when I get home. I'm buzzing. That was, that was great. Well, it was awful, but it was great. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Right, I'm literally walking up the stairs with a cripple. It's not even my muscles, it's the chafe on my ass. Oh, this is tragic. Like whenever my leggings touch my bum. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, right, let me squat down. No, oh, see, it's done with it. Gaz has just turned my bath on for me, but getting in with what is going to be a very chafed bum <laughs> isn't going to be fun oh yay <coughs> here's my medal so yeah smashed it 50k four hours 16 minutes was my time 4 16 30 or something let me just find you my trophy everything in this bag i've got a hat what was one of my prizes here it is there it is. It says Canalathon Ultra OTK Champ. That's what Gaz calls me all the time, a champ. I'm over the moon. I'm glad it's done, but I'm over the moon. I enjoyed it to be fair. Um, first 25k felt great. It was averaging like just under five minute per kilometre. The first 25k was feeling really strong, really good. Had a gel at like I don't know, I can't even remember. I need to probably remember these things to tell my coach. Actually, to be fair, on the, the, on the way out, I was feeling really hungry, actually, to be fair. So I had a gel earlier than I thought I was going to, and then also had some saurine. Um, I had one of like chocolate orange saurine bars and had that at like 15k, because I could feel myself getting hungry. I tried to keep on top of my nutrition. My stomach felt great, like no issues there. So all those emodiums that I took, I took two before I left and then one when I got there as well. So things you gotta do for these longer events. Felt decent <clears throat> for the first sort of like 25K. So on the way out, so all the elevation on this run is on the way out because it's basically the elevation graph goes like that and like that. So on the way out, when you're going, when you're running down the canal, whenever you hit a lock, you just go to a short, sharp uphill. And I think there must have been like 15, 20 of them. So it was a lot of little short sharp bursting up a hill but then obviously on the way back they were all downhill which i thought was gonna be nice at the time but then when your legs are cramping and you're trying to run downhill that hurts so i didn't enjoy that too much but the flats were nice there was a part on the canal that was like a really muddy wet rain like it obviously it'd been raining so it was like puddles and stuff and when you're wearing <laughs> I don't think I've got them here, but I have just my normal. I wear, wore my trailers that I wear tie rocks. I don't have trail running shoes. I'm not a trail runner. Um, and they were the only ones with like the smallest bit of grip. It was either them or my endorphin elites, which are just like smooth as anything. So there's no way I was wearing them. They've got the tiniest bit of grip, so I wore them. Um, everyone else was in trail shoes. And I probably looked like a complete novice when I got there because everyone had like all the gear. Um, and I didn't, but I still did okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, most of the canal was just nice, flat, either sort of pavementy or just like a bit pebbly, stony. So it was perfect. I enjoy running on that sort of surface. So that was good for me. Um, but yeah, there was like maybe in total like eight to ten k of like muddy puddles where you're like jumping and sliding, and so that really got in like the way of your your groove. And then on the way back, I mean, I've never done 
any distance, anything like that. My longest ever run was obviously my Ironman run, which was a marathon off the bike. But other than that, that's my longest ever run. Other than that, I've done a 30K a couple of times. I've done a 30, have I done a 32K? I don't know, something like that. Anyway, yeah, I've never run anything near that distance. So it, it's a nice confidence boost to know that I can do it. But I could tell, like when I hit the 35K mark, that's when I started to feel my like, inside my legs like my hamstrings into my glutes like my hip everything just started to feel a bit crampy my calves were fine which is good because i thought my calves were going to be the one that was going to go not go but like start cramping um but yeah my quads i could feel them cramping and then you start running a bit funny and then because as well it's it's a lonely old run there's no one there supporting it's not like a big event it was a really small event and obviously just like members of the public just on the, on the canal it's not like a supported event like in, in a iron man where you can kind of be distracted it's just you on the canal no one's supporting you and when i got to the final k and i saw gaz at the end he sort of ran my last like 800 meters with me i really picked up my pace because it's nice obviously to have that like support but when you're cramping and you're just like your head's down a bit it didn't drop completely but my head was dropping um and my pace was like maybe around five it was like 5 13 5 13 then it was like 5 17 5 18 5 20 like it was just creeping down in the last sort of like 7k after i hit the marathon it was then starting to to drop quite a bit which is is understandable um but then when i saw gaz i really picked up my pace in that last competitor so it's amazing what some support can do and what you, you are capable of doing um your head is a very powerful thing but anyway went through the marathon in like 335 i think that was which is a marathon pb because <laughs> i've never run a marathon because as well in the when i did my iron man my iron man run was like 41.98 so it was like 200 meters short of the marathon um, so in my head i was like i've never run a marathon before so today i ran a marathon and i got 335 so a marathon within a 50k getting that sort of time i felt comfortable i'm happy with that and what else yeah just ugh, just towards the end my my legs were absolutely killing and yeah, i can't tell you how sore like i don't it's not even in between my bum cheeks it's like under my bum and like the top of my legs they're so chafed and that's the worst bit the coach asked me um yesterday what's like my post-race treat and i always crave like something really salty after a race so i had pringles or like hula hoop salt really salted and a monster i always crave those two things a bit of salt and a monster and then i had a protein shake as well i'm not hungry at all i always find i don't know anyone else but i always find after long events i'm never hungry i'll be related we're gonna have a spaghetti bolognese that's the sort of thing i'm craving just like a big pasta dish with cheese oh, and then yeah, Gaz. So Gaz went, drove to the turn point, and then he walked a bit down the canal. So I saw him at about 23 and a half k. He was there, and then obviously I went out and back and turned, and then saw him again at maybe like 27 k. So it was nice to see him twice. Um, and then my mum and Gaz were both at the end, which was so nice, and all the dogs it made me so happy um so yeah i'm really happy that was a great experience the it was, like the the event was it was really small I, I don't think there was more than like 40 people in in the race in the 50k there's 100k that went an hour earlier and there's a 50k and for like for the quality of like the canal and it's such a good place to to run um it was a shame that it wasn't more like better attended i don't know if maybe they've not advertised it very well or whatever but it was one it would be one that i would absolutely do again the staff were really great and the yeah as i said the like location was beautiful you were running through like the countryside and it was it was lovely so definitely one i would recommend it's called canalathon my face is all salty um so i think i mean there's not much to to cover it's not like a triathlon where there's loads going on i i ran for 50k 25k out 25k back um, averaged about five minute per kilometer for the first 30k and then started to drop off a bit but it's one of those things um, so yeah I'm proud of myself and we're gonna get a bath now and it's gonna hurt getting into that bath but I'm gonna get a bath and then I'm going to do a bit of stretching do some ball rolling and sit on the sofa all day and get Gaz to make us tea so thank you for watching I hope this video was fun <laughs> interesting and um yeah i'll come back to you back at you sorry with another video very soon but do make sure to like subscribe leave a comment below it's always great to chat to the comments and i will speak to you soon goodbye